Hi, uh, thanks for uh, joining us on uh, Faded World's Wild Blue. Uh, today we have a, uh, we are uh, sadly still down a uh, Kelsa. She's uh, uh, probably uh, in the air right now coming back from uh, PAX East. Uh, but we are joined by uh, our uh, wonderful GM, Hasa. Uh, Dimmy playing Rick Slack. You, you, you rock. Uh, <laughs> uh, Mark playing uh, 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 Marin. And uh, David playing Chance. Uh, let me see. Uh, I, I, how are you guys doing? What's up? Doing fine. I'm doing good. I might have my own room again soon. Ooh. Yay! I started jogging, so I'm a bit worn out, but that's <laughs> fine. <laughs> what it's supposed to be about. I yeah, woke up so... around six minutes ago, so... <laughs> 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 yeah, and unfortunately, I... Well, I, I've woken up about, uh, I don't know, like eight times this morning. Uh, cause I, yeah, cause I, I, I've been, uh, trying to figure out what's, uh, what's going on with, uh, my, uh, cat Hedwig, um, and, uh, uh, trying to get an appoint, uh, vet appointment cause she, she's got a, a, a urinary tract infection, um, but, uh, looks like it's gonna be okay, and, uh, we there. We have an appointment uh, later today. Anyway, uh, th this is sort of a uh, rehash for people who know, and uh, and for for those who don't already probably uh, you know don't need to. So uh, with that, uh, you know, oh so relevant ramble. I'm gonna turn it over to you, Asa. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Okay. Before we start, um, I'm I'm gonna do it proper this time. Uh, before we start, let's uh, come up with the things that will earn us a skill point this game. Uh, does anybody have an idea already? Uh, no. <laughs> camera more, but that's kind of, I don't know, standout. <laughs> yeah, that counts. Okay. So Could try be a that. valid one. I wanna be the very best, like no one <laughs> ever wants <wanna. laughs> to catch so, them. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. So is your goal to catch them all? <laughs> um. And you weren't there uh, when I said that. I didn't know did whether I said that on on uh, Skype or not. But um, basically. Uh, like when you're setting yourself a, a, a goal, it doesn't have to be, okay, I will do this, especially if it's in game thing. It's more like I will think about like a certain thing and spend effort into trying to do it, but it doesn't have to ne necessarily succeed. For instance, um, uh, okay. Timmy's uh, thing for last session was that he would get a chance to sign a contract. Um, I, I think in general you might in, in that case also say like okay I'm going to remember to ask uh, or convince Ch or, or try to convince Chance to sign a contract rather than saying that it will succeed or I will uh, think about you know whenever things happen if this is maybe a good time to, to have uh, Chance sign a uh, a contract or something like that like it, it can be a little more vague as long as it's clear to everyone that you did put in you know the the effort like by being like hmm you know would that this be a good time to have him sign contract and then regardless whether this answer is is yes or no you know it's still clear that you put in the effort so okay i wanna uh make one ridiculous situation happen in the session <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> or at least try uh, at least try <laughs> Yeah, so then you'll you'll earn the the point for coming up with uh, ridiculous moments, and if you then 
Yeah, if 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 and not really the right time happens, or I'm like, no, you know, we're not gonna do this right now, or something, or whatever, then you still get your your skill point because you know you put in the effort and you thought about it. But I'm sure that with you guys, there there'll be plenty <laughs> of ridiculous situations. <laughs> Uh, Brad, how about you? What's your goal? Um, yeah, I, I'm I'm coming up a little bit blank. Uh, I guess. Hmm. Uh, I I guess I'll I'll uh try to uh bring in a, a little bit more of uh like uh John Wayne's like actual shtick uh okay. in in playing out Duke. Because I I've been doing like Western accent but not one that's like tied to him at all. Um so I, I will attempt to do that. Okay. Very ambitious. I know <laughs> Uh, especially since I don't want to just be all howdy, pilgrim. <laughs> um, I think I'll try to find uh, some sort of a uh, uh, a purpose for Rickslax because right now he seems like you know he's this. Yeah, everyone knows what what he's like, but I don't even know what he wants and wants from life, basically. Okay. So I try to 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 find that, I guess. Okay. Okay. Uh, I guess we all have our. Well, you guys all have our your goals. My my goal will be to uh, compel you guys uh, more. It's a good one. I'm gonna try that. I don't I know like if I'll it. succeed because that's hard, but I'll try. And I'll I'll start uh, start off straight away with a compel because uh, last session. Uh, Rex Lax got kidnapped by pirates from Pine Town. Uh, uh, Pine Town is the little village where you were uh, previously, uh, Marin. And um, the, the the sky pirates kidnapped him. And uh, those guys sealed their fate. Well, <laughs> <laughs> most of them are okay. But so, <laughs> maybe maybe not going forward. Marin, I'd imagine that Marin would be very worried about uh, Rick Slax being kidnapped. So I'd happily offer you a fate point to chase him all the way to the end of the earth, or in this case, uh, somewhere between Dry Gulch and Tom's Crossing. I would, of course, but I wouldn't do it like the stupid way, like just running behind the. Ah! But, <laughs> but I'm trying to find a way to follow them silently without being suspicious. Sure, go ahead. To take them on one by one and make <laughs> them suffer as much as <laughs> I can. Okay, okay. Um, the, um, why don't you uh, give me a stealth roll? In the meantime, I'll tell you what you find when you catch up with them. So okay. when you catch up, um, you see this this uh, flying <laughs> ship. There's wait. Uh... wait, I don't have stealth. No. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait, wait, I I got got a second. No, I didn't. Wait, I should. Never mind. Uh... <laughs> I thought I had stealth. That's that's not cool. Well, you could get lucky. Like Brad always does with four minuses. Oh yeah. <laughs> like that, for instance. Um. Let's see if the. Pirates... No problem. I still got to see if I meet someone. Um. Oh, here's the pirates. <sighs> I should turn on my light. Okay. It seems they're and... not very good at noticing, but there's a bunch of them, of course. Feels bad, man. Hmm. Oh, what do you know? <laughs> I didn't even have to spend that, that fake point you just uh, 
game. <laughs> the, uh, you um, see a, 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 f a flying ship? You've seen a sky ship before, uh, I'd imagine. Uh, this one is not extremely big. If you... Uh, <laughs> uh, are, are you going to try and climb aboard, or are you going to stay on the ground, or...? Let me think about it. Uh, I might lose them if I don't climb, right? Uh, no, you could follow them from the ground. Hmm. But if I climb up, I might... Actually, the fun thing is, I could just say I don't care and say I'll use the fate point, the art of stalking, and I can suddenly appear in the scene where I, I, someone, with someone yeah. I'm obsessed with. So I think I'll just keep, I'll just look if I can climb somewhere that I not uh, really threatened to actually kill myself or. Uh, what yeah, do you mean? Just, uh, or maybe I misunderstood it. Just uh, okay. I th I think I misunderstood the scene. There's not nothing. There's a flying ship. Um, yeah. I'd imagine you'd be following it by. Do uh... you have a horse? No. Um, <laughs> so I imagine you would have acquired some kind of uh, uh, mount from the from Pine Town, since you know, that would be the only way you could catch up. Um, it probably would be. And stealing a little horse is not that, that bad. No, of course not. <laughs> so Yeah, it's just a mild hanging on a fence. I'll just keep... Uh, keep uh, if, if I'm... Stay, I have to stay right beneath them, because otherwise they can see me, right? Uh, you could follow at a a, a wider, uh, a longer distance if you want, and th have them be like a dot in the in the 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 background, and just ride like use like cover from a few bushes or trees. Um, you can see the direction they're going. They're heading towards Tom's Crossing. Uh, you could, you know, ride round and go ahead and wait for them. Uh, you could try climbing aboard their ship. You know, there's, there's options. I should try to get. Or on you the could ship. spend a fate point and miraculously appear aboard of their ship. I mean, no, I I, sh I should try to climb it at least. Sure. So you want me to do an athletic ride? Uh, I want you to do a shoot to uh, get a rope up there, and then <sighs> an athletics to climb up the rope. Ha! Huh, I point. I did put one point in there. So that's your shoot. Yes. Okay. You managed to, to get a safely secure grip. That's nice. The power I think it's not so is... much that climbing a rope is hard. I think it's more of a fact that you have to do it stealthy. So I think it might be more stealth than, than anything. It doesn't matter, to be honest. I don't advise any of these. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, if you spend a fate point on that for some reason, then uh, that would be enough. But as is, it's not. Yeah, I, think I mean, I... you can get up, but you'll get seen. I think I got enough possibilities to use a fate point on that occasion. I think, yeah, I, I will just use a fate point. So, okay. if the I the could... rest of of you guys want to try and see uh, Marin, by the way, you can totally roll. Notice, uh, why not spot sure. her? Do you mind me calling Marin a her? Because for me, she's a she. <laughs> I know she's genderless, but I just imagine her a seductress. <laughs> nope, <laughs> she has no idea. I got a three. <laughs> You 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 spot a a a a a Marin winking at you from uh, <laughs> of the side I of would. the boat. I don't think I'm in the mood to wink. I'm more like absolutely <laughs> livid. <laughs> okay, so you what you will see is uh, what what are you doing right now, Rick Slacks? 
Uh, what did we do last time? We just hanged around with the crew, right? Yeah, you were you were flying to Tom's Crossing, and you just bought stuff from that uh, dry gulch, and you're on your way now. See. So. Um, I don't know. Maybe just you know spending time with the with the crew, uh, learning their. You know, when people drink more, they're they're prone to telling more than they usually do. So you know, listening to this, listening for this or that, and playing cards and just okay. hanging so... around. See Rick Slack sitting around with a bunch of pirates. There's uh, uh, a Duke. What are you, what are you up to? Um, I I think he probably spends uh, a lot of time sort of striking a pose on the, uh, the at the bow of the ship, except that he's not like consciously striking a pose. It, it, it's <sighs> just just sort of an uh, iconic thing that he, that that he does. Uh, Without it being uh, sort of a, uh, without it being again a, a, a conscious uh, uh, thing, and he's like he, he you know scans the, the horizon, uh, you know, waiting for the the, the first sight of uh, Tom's Crossing uh, and and, uh, and danger, and in doing so, completely misses uh, 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 Marin, just like climbing onto the ship. So, uh, yeah, so I'm <laughs> not doing a great job of it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Chance, uh, describe to Marin what you look like and what you're doing. Um, I sit uh, in a corner uh, by myself, not too far from me, sit two pirates uh, who listen to me fiddling around on a fiddle. Um, it's a very nice sound. Um, yeah, and I'm just passing my time with that. I'm about 27, uh, reddish hair, kind of tall, not too tall. Yeah, and I'm just sitting there playing my instrument, entertaining myself at some pirates. Do you look as, as rough as, as the pirates? You know, do you have a scar um, here or there, or are you clearly do, distinguishable from them? I am clearly distinguishable. I'm sunburned a little bit, and... Uh, marked by the weather, but I'm not as as uh, guard as the pirates are. So I am distinguishable. Okay. You also see a uh, a fellow, uh, bit of a uh, you know, he's got a scar as well, uh, tied to tied to the mast. Right. That's tied to the mast. That's just not good. Yeah, quick, untie him. It, it, <laughs> it must be a travesty of justice. <laughs> Probably. <is. laughs> I, I mean, everybody... Um... That is an enemy of the pirates is a friend of mine. <laughs> but I have to, have to be smart about it. So I just observe the situation for a moment and look for openings to act. Well, undercover. I mean, Rick Slax has seen you. Um, for the rest, nobody has. Everybody else on board is oblivious of as to your existence. I'm ju I'm just sitting there wondering what, what, what is she waiting for? Why doesn't she just come aboard? I mean, okay, I guess <laughs> her thing. This is. I I have to be careful, but yeah, let's let's go on. Let's go on. Uh, I, I mean, I'll, I'll I'll give you a fate point for for uh, brutally avenging uh, Rick Slax's capture. I, I was going to do that anyway, but well, you still like it's it's still like a, an 
an indirect compel even if it's just comes from yourself like i'm supposed to also award you fate points if you do something uh that is really you know would have would have been a compel so you can totally get a fate point for for doing something stupid okay. <laughs> so is there a door nearby uh hold on do we have the ship still Did cool. I'll move you guys. There you go. This is the ship. Uh, I didn't mind the crosses. That those were the positions of people previously. A second, I have okay. Um, I have to adjust it so I can see it. Okay. Um. Oh, okay, there's so So it's it's one of those like classic uh ships with the uh you know the the higher uh the higher deck uh, in in front and then the, the the things are like to the sides are stairs. Uh below that is a uh is the the, the cabin of the captain kind of thing and uh draw you a square somewhere which is the Trap door down to the lower deck. Hey, do I hear uh, anyone from the captain's cabin? Uh, no, it, it's you don't hear any sounds from there. Is there a window? Uh, a very small window. Uh, you don't see anybody through it. Okay, I'll tr just open it from from behind from behind the door. Just open it a slight bit and let it go open just a little part so I can wait for an erection from the inside and put uh, and have my dagger ready. Okay. Uh, you, you open the door a crack and uh, let's see. It creaks. Uh, and it opens uh, silently. And there is no response. I don't know if this is good or, or bad because it could mean there's nobody inside. It also could mean <laughs> they haven't noticed, and I just going to, in and there are five people like, well, hello there. <laughs> <laughs> so I try to make it a little bit quick. <laughs> or, or to. to Close it like it, it's it swings back like. Okay. So okay. So you try to make a little sound with the door. Yeah. Okay. Um. Uh, the door makes a little sound, uh, but nobody nobody notices or makes a sound. Okay. Then I slowly open. The door a little more. I just imagine uh, Marion like standing there, like opening the door and closing it again, and then opening the door. <laughs> hey, I'm not stupid. I'm not rushing in. <laughs> Certainly. I, I just slowly open it a bit more. Okay. Reactions? Slowly open it. No. Okay, then I I go in and close the door. Okay. The the the. The cabin is entirely empty. And this is for sure the captain's cabin, right? Uh, it looks it looks very fancy. Uh, it, it 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 you know it either be the captain or, or somebody somebody f much much more fancy than these rough sailors. All right. Well, I look around if I see any hazards or possible problems. If I don't see any. I'm just going to stay behind the door, waiting with my dagger, and keep uh, out of the sight of the window. Because it's the easiest way to actually make the captain um, unable to do stupid things. If I just keep him, get him hostage, or at least take him with me. If necessary. Okay. To disorganize them. 
Forex likes. After uh, after not uh, like you you wait for a little while and then at some point you hear some like sounds like from from outside like rrr, 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 rrr. and then you hear some laughter and uh, you you hear uh, a pair of footsteps. Okay, uh, I ready myself. Okay. Um. Two sailors walk into the the cabin. Plural. Yes, two. Oh, that I I hope I have enough luck, <laughs> and I'll try to use my advantage that I got from the self and sure. try to uh, make one silent. <laughs> by cutting well, their throat the other one. Or... <laughs> well if he's not able to shout or to do anything it's fine as well but I think the easiest well, what way are you would, gonna do? would be to I'd probably try to pierce his lung okay sure you know just the regular <laughs> the big regular thing uh, go, go ahead and give me a roll the great thing is I have I can't. Uh, by the way, I, I should probably ready my pistol as well because otherwise I'm screwed. I can somewhat shoot, but I can't fight with weapons at all. Like that's that's the ridiculous part. I always forget the roll. I just read 4DF. Such 4DF. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I should use a fade point to reroll that. Uh, yeah, and don't forget you had the advantage from being stealthy, right? Yeah. I s so, I s oh, and yeah. you reroll add plus two from that. That's true. Eh. Oh well. What did I expect? <laughs> <laughs> Two points better. <laughs> so if I use, an, I can't use another fate point to boost it because um, I use it to rebound. Um, unfortunately, right? not. Um, Damn. Yeah. Can I use that one stunt I talked with you about? Uh oh, yeah, of course, sure, that works. Okay. Uh, it's a once per scene thing, so you can't use it again this scene then. But I'd imagine that uh, it'd be something that you'd want to use like very flexibly. So just make it a once per scene plus two bonus, as long as you can somehow argue that you do it to uh, protect Rick Slacks. That like, that's fine. Okay, then then I actually did it. You make it, yeah, totally. You just puncture this guy's lung, and he just falls on the ground, like making a gurgling sound. And then I try to get the other one in a position where I can hold him hostage. Okay. Uh, I think because you were, like, you, you gave this, this guy some warning time, right? So he's going to take Probably. A, a swing at you before. <laughs> he's not very good. <laughs> at you, but... but not critically bad yet. See. Yeah. <laughs> Almost that. <laughs> Almost, yeah. Uh, at athletics, right? Uh, yeah, athletics or some. That's something. unfortunate. Oh, that is it? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Just dodge this guy's swing. Uh, you've oh. basically got one chance to silence him before he's gonna pull his friends. Yeah, I have to take it. I can't take him hostage. So yeah. Of course, guns going off on the ship may attract hostage. some attention. I can, Maybe. but with my skills of doing it, I might as well just say, "Yeah, uh, hey, um, <laughs> is, it, is it a nice weather, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I think seducing him is, is not going to be very likely in this situation <laughs> anymore. Um, yeah, I, I just try to Okay. Yeah. I, I just beat, pray... beat a one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, 
succeed so at a cost, right? So if you can spend right? a fate point, then... Uh, or you can succeed at a cost, or you can spend a fate point. What would succeed at a cost mean in this case? Um... Taking a swing for it? So your goal is mainly to keep him quiet. Okay, if, if that's the compromise, then I will just gladly spend the fate point. No, 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 that won't be the compromise. That's what I'm. That's why I'm saying it. Um, else that would defeat the whole point. I can't think of a good cost. Can anybody think of a good cost? No. Um, maybe he'd have some blood on his clothes afterwards, so that it's not entirely that he can't go uh, outside without uh, like no being noticed as someone who's been in a fight? No, I mean, they notice him anyway, but could say that... Uh... He might get in trouble with the wardens, because uh, that's now a wardenship, and she killed people on it. Ooh. I'm sure yeah. Duke will be uh, that seems, very unhappy. That seems like a good <laughs> <laughs> <A little> bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. Uh, you just kill the guys, like, straight away. You don't incapac incapacitate him. You just kill him straight away, and that will get you into trouble. Does that, that, do you accept that, or will you spend the fate point? Whatever, this guy uh, just did something that can't be, can't be undone. I, I, no, this, this, this guy deserves this anyway, so... Okay, you you just uh, you you just I got the wild look and just stab him like straight in the heart and he just falls over. Okay, I got one more. Okay, that, that's actually the thing is nobody else noticed that for now, right? Uh, no. Maybe uh, their friends are gonna notice it if they stay in there for a very long time, but uh. For now, you still hear like the laughter going on outside, and uh... how many are there? Can I uh, can I can I see it from the window? Let's see. Sure, you can see it from the window. Uh... Apparently, there's three pirates left. What's plus four minus two? Uh, oh, no. hold on. That's not 5DF, I'm roll... Uh, oh. <laughs> D5, I have of course. Plus 4, minus 2. Oh, there's... Wow, there's 7 left still. Okay, I have to keep this guerrilla tactic a bit intact for now. <laughs> I can't just shoot 7 people straight away. I probably don't even have the ammunition for that. Even if it's not defined, but it's probably the case. So... Actually, uh, there's not seven left, there's six left. Okay. Um. So you can just reload and, and, and uh, <laughs> one bullet each. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now I have to think about it, because there are several options. First, I'll... Um, Drag the, the wounded person to the side and say to him very clearly, but very clearly, if you move one inch, you're going to end up as your friend. <laughs> Didn't you kill both of them? Uh, no, I just punctured the lung of the first. Oh. Um... Isn't that lethal? Didn't he oh. just bleed out? Just after some he time. Would. I, I think he would. Bleed but... out. Just after some time. So... If his fr friends come fast and also get unable to move fast, I might be able to uh, save give me, him. Give me an empathy, Marin. Sure. Yeah, I'm rolling as temperance. <laughs> um. <laughs> no temperance, why is she here? <laughs> um so uh you see that uh when you say that uh the, the fellow has a little defiance in his eyes. 
Okay, so I need to fret a little more. Then I. Take... Oh, you see him. You see him raise his hand. I, I take his hand with my arm, and put my dagger right at his throat. You sure? <laughs> Um, there is there, there might be a way out of out there for you. That is not the way out. <laughs> um Okay, he's going to try and break three free from your hand. Cuz hey, he's got a long left. He'll <laughs> <laughs> be fine. So if you want to hold them there, you need to roll Physique, Marin. Hey. It's one of my better talents that I'm using now. You have a plus one into this? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> wow. Okay, no problem. You just see him struggle, and then at some point he slips into subconsciousness. Oh, that's... Unconsciousness. Unconsciousness. That saves me the trouble <laughs> of thinking of how I kill him without uh, making it a bloodbath. Nice. Well, I mean, it's still a bloodbath because he's bleeding all over the floor. Well, it's not as worse, worse as well. it would slit his throat. Then there was really a lot of blood from his lung. Not so much. Um... But, yeah, I, I, it, it's not that, that that blood will come out of, of the door so everybody sees, oh, no! Um, but... That's actually, you give, gave me a great idea with that. Because I was thinking about using one of the dead, of, of the buddies as bait, so I can take one from behind. But if there's a blood stain, they won't be warned that much, so they will still be wandering, but they won't straight away draw the weapons, so that's good. Uh, um, Duke Rick Slacks and Chance, are you guys doing anything before you arrive at Tom's Crossing? Do you want to do anything to prepare? Well, I will look for Marin, because I just saw her on the ship and <laughs> here. Okay. I mean, I, I, I look over, over, overboard and, and, you know, probably ask Duke if he's seen her and, you know, just, just look around, because why the fuck wouldn't she just, you know, we were just playing cards and looking around and she hid somewhere? That seems weird. Wait a moment. You you just saw Miss Marin? Yeah, she was, she was, <laughs> what was she doing? She was peeking from over the ship, from, from the ship's uh, really? edge or something. I don't know. Well, that's powerful, strange. Well, we we better, uh, I guess, search the ship. I reckon. Well, yeah. After this this evening, uh, the words, I saw Marin, but I don't see her here right now. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Yeah, I notice uh, Rick's like you, you talking to Duke. Yeah, you might overhear the conversation, unless yeah. you guys are being particularly stealthy about it. I, I just mm. noticed them talking, and I woke up and asked them, oh, what, what's it you're talking about? Anything interesting happen? Well, I, I think we're playing hide-and-seek, but I'm not completely sure. <laughs> <laughs> Good friend of ours uh, just uh, showed up on ship. Uh, oh. But why is she hiding then? Well, that there's the question. All right, then let's go find her. The thing is, All right. If David is the first person coming out, yeah, that could be bad. I mean, probably even if Duke comes out as first person, I would wouldn't risk it. But with <laughs> David, there's no. <laughs> Oh, I mean, no you do see that Chance doesn't look like a pirate, but I think Chance is also a lot more durable than a pirate. 
and I don't care. Everybody on this ship's probably a traitor and <laughs> evil and everything. Uh, I think it's so awesome that like Marin has no idea what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just like, uh, what the fuck is she doing? <laughs> Where is she? <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, um. Yeah, well, like, where where do you search? Uh, do you do you like? Uh, do you call for her? Do you just like search like methodically? Uh... Well, the, the 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 places to hide are either on the outside of the ship, which I I'm guessing Duke can just fly around and see if she's still there, and the cabin and the. The trap door. I mean, yeah. I I can't think of any other place that where she could be. Yeah, I'd imagine that you you know first like maybe search the outside of the ship and then like the cabin seems a logical second place. Yeah. Yeah. If, if you if you can just uh, point me to the side she showed up on. Well, that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. In the meantime, the the pirates on the deck are like, oh, they're they're taking quite long. Uh, and then one of them is like, yeah, make sure that they don't uh, they don't uh, take uh, take all the all the all the the money for themselves. Uh, and uh, two more uh, stand up and head for the the uh, cabin. I hope they are drunk. I got a chance. Oh boy. Uh, of course, Baron is absolutely confident and in um, stealth, Metal Gear mode, like silent assassination. Okay, uh, you'll have an advantage for the first one again since you'll be taking them by surprise. Um. <laughs> So yeah, two uh, two more pirates push open the door. I wish Cypher was here. <laughs> <laughs> Cypher is Mark's previous character and just like a, a killing machine, basically. Incredibly good and incredibly likely to kill. Um... And she was not only good at it, but she basically always used for an excuse to do it. So. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll let you succeed. Um, at you know whatever you want to do, puncture his lung or whatever. Mm -hmm. But um, can you just spend a fate point, or the other guy will be like, "Hey, what are you doing?" I think I will spend the, my last fate point now. Okay. <laughs> sure. That would be that would unfortunate fast. if it ends now. I, I got so far. <laughs> you did. So, yeah. This one's down. Okay, sure. Do you kill him? Do you puncture his lung? You can... uh, that's, that's the plan. I, I'll try to puncture the lungs, make them silent, and... Okay. If I need someone alive in the end, I can still use him as a hostage or uh, try to make him speak after I helped him be able to speak again. But yeah. The the the, the second guy will take a swing at you. This is not good. Yes, this is very not good. <laughs> Take two physical stress as he uh, swings his uh, fist and kind of like grazes your shoulder. It's just not not any lasting damage, but yeah. it hurts. I I try to just be quiet about it and try to at least bring it to an end now because after that I'm screwed. And like... Yeah. I have Go one ahead. last chance. This is his defense. Oh god. Not looking good. I have no fate point left, that's not cool. Um, <laughs> yeah, and it's still the same scene, right? So you can't use the... You have to... You, you just have to get lucky, basically. Yeah, if 
after that, I just draw the pistol and then say, what the fuck, I don't care anymore. <laughs> you just go... Pew, 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 pew. Okay. Can I use the pistol with my other hand? Like... Okay. Um... Well, uh... I, I think if you, I think like you can you can obviously you know you, you can win a fight against this guy, um, but uh, I think he he is gonna have the time to be like, hey you, what are you doing? It doesn't matter. I, after that will be a big bang. So that's basically Dude, it will be uh... hard. To, to, I, I I if I. This person, there will be four more persons left, right? So let's uh, do these individual fights with just one roll each. Um, if uh, you roll like, uh, if you roll less than them, uh, like they'll you know be able to get their distance and go in for a second. If you go roll better than them, you know obviously they're then you know just not as as skilled and practiced as you were. Okay. So, so give me a, a roll for this guy. He'll try to dodge and let's see what happens. Mark? Oh. Uh, looks like froze. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Uh, so for the for the rest of you, you hear this this yell like, "Hey, what are you doing there?" Coming from the uh, user in your channel, time down. cabin. Well, that's that has to be her. <laughs> let's let's just uh, right. see what happens. Or what happened? Okay. Uh, so you you head towards the captain. Uh, Captain Tat, and you see like the door swings open, and it gives you this glorious view of like Marin like covered to her elbows in in blood, and like you know three bodies lying on the floor, and a fourth guy just uh, you know uh, you know Marin, Marin like holding her 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 pistol towards the 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 fourth guy with like a crazy look in her eyes. Um, actually, when Mark is not here, what do we do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, well, you, can, you can decide what you want to do, and then you could even roll, and then we could take a, a short break if he's not back by then. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll basically, I, I want to ask her what the hell is going on, and when the pirates uh, start wanting her head, I will try to convince them that uh, it's in their best interest to just stay back. You know, she, she did this to four of them, and. Who knows what what you might do to to the rest? But yeah, yeah, uh, that's my plan. I think Duke will be all what in Sam Hill, and <laughs> and what you know, you do this time, yeah, and, and like quickly try and interpose himself in the situation to keep uh, anybody else from getting shot uh, on on either side. So you're you're gonna try and save the guy that's. Uh... About to get uh, shot by Marin? Yeah, yeah. You don't have it coming. Um, in the meantime, the 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 four uh, remaining pirates are coming that way, with with shock on their eyes, and they're they're just, like pulling their their uh, their their sabers and pistols and and lightsabers. Not lightsabers. <laughs> no. Oh. Uh, not that kind of flying pirates. Um, Chance, what are you doing? Mm, I don't think I'm doing much. I'm just following Rixlex, I think, and just observing the situation a little bit. Don't want to get too involved. Okay. Um, Rixlex, if you want, you can roll a report to try and calm the pirates down. Or provoke if you're trying to intimidate them into being calm by being like, I've seen what she can do, you know. Um, Chance, if you want to get a better idea of what's going on, you might uh, you, you roll uh, 
Natus or empathy? Natus to just I guess Nate is not that useful, but you could roll empathy to, to kind of read like the, the, the crowd. And Duke, I think uh, athletics to to be fast, fast enough. Okay. Okay. No, I've got I don't know. Um, They're muted. Um, oh. They're bred. <laughs> or talking to quiet. Oh, uh, I think I was talking to quiet. Is that better? Okay. Yeah, okay. I can mm -hmm. hear you. Yeah. Okay, I was mumbling. That, that's that's always great on stream, right? <laughs> of course. <laughs> okay, uh, athletics. I, I just got better at that. Dub. All right. Uh, ooh, ooh, nice. Okay. Yeah, no, no matter what happens, you just push the guy aside. <laughs> um... I would say the the pirates get an advantage on being willful since they see their uh, mates just being murdered. Ooh, apparently they are very willful. Yeah. Well, I, I I can throw in a couple of uh, you know white lies to uh, <laughs> to uh, amp up what what she's capable of. I'm sure. Sure. Certainly, you know, and to you make know make are. sure them that you're doing that you're doing it in their best interest. Of course. Well, I'm 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 kind of one of them now, at least for the time being. So. Sure. <laughs> oh, that's a that's a six, not a seven. So it's a it's a four. Fine. I I keep thinking that our best queue is at five. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, well, it was like that in. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, are you trying to observe the situation, Chance, with empathy? In that case, you would roll your empathy skill. You really understand what everybody's, you know, gonna do and what they. I don't know. Yeah, why not? I guess. Doesn't hurt unless you roll for. Yeah. <laughs> well, what 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 would happen if I if I rolled for minuses, for example? I don't know. Something <laughs> but I'll come but that's up like with something. That's like one in eighty-one, so don't worry about it. Okay. Okay. Uh, what you can get from the situation is uh. That like, Baron uh, is a is a friend, of course, oh, of uh, of of Rex Lax and Duke, and uh, you know you can you can put uh, one and one together. Uh, you you can tell that you know she's she's doing this as some some kind of retaliation uh, for 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 the capture. Okay, and. Uh, the pirates, well, they're they're you know, uh, they are enraged, uh, and they will certainly you know want justice for their comrades. Com their comrades, they, uh, they they're a bit you know held back right now, uh, thanks to Rex Lax's words. Uh, they won't immediately attack, but you know they'll they'll want justice one way or another for their friends. Okay. They're also a bit scared of you know this this crazy uh crazy person okay uh i'll try i'll play a calming tune on my fiddle sure. uh just to evoke a feeling of just uh being calm and not overreacting to stuff and such sure go ahead and do that <laughs> ooh Nice. <laughs> Very soothing, indeed. Um. Yeah. I think that. Uh, Although I guess this... that will be angry. We'll have to roll a, a roll against a, a obstacle to to uh, try and you know be angry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is it because he had a 
six, or is that just a two of uh, uh, an obstacle to that? Uh, you just, came up with. just because it's a fair obstacle, like uh, it's, it's not necessarily a six. Like I think, like technically in that case, like I'd have to divide up the six between the people, uh, like so that I can do like three people that he wants to come with with obstacle mm-hmm. two. But uh, I'm, I'm just gonna say it's obstacle two because that's easy. Okay. Being a, a lazy game master. Um. So yeah, since uh, Mark is still missing, let's take a five minute break to see if he comes back. Okay. All right. And get food. And it's a good time for a break. Yeah, yeah. About an hour in. Uh, okay. We'll see you in a bit me, then. Yep. Give me a moment to uh, set up, set things up. But uh, I should have this ready, but I don't. Anyway. Uh, yeah.